I went right to that part. That. I, 420? I, oh, 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 what oh, the f? Oh, oh, oh. 420. Nice. Welcome back to another episode of Psychosmos. Today we're going to dive into the pineal gland, why it's important, the cultural significances of it, and its purpose. Stay tuned for more. What is it? I'm glad you asked! <laughs> The pineal gland is a little pine cone shaped gland that sits within the center of your mind, within the thalamus. The pineal secretes DMT and melatonin. Uh, it might secrete other chemicals, but those are the main two. A lot of the time, the, the pineal gland, when it secretes its chemicals, it looks golden in color, similar to honey. And if you pair it with its counterpart, the pituitary, which secretes a milk-like substance, uh, it's one of the analogies in the Bible that discusses the land of milk and honey. The pineal gland is a tiny pine cone shaped endocrine gland about the size of a grain of rice, tucked in a small groove where the two halves of the thalamus join. Could this mysterious structure be the home to a sixth human sense, a transcendent power referred to in every major civilization since the dawn of recorded history? Speaking of biblical references, uh, yes, we have a section of the good, the good words Lord right here for us, which is interesting because you see, oftentimes uh, the pineal gland is associated with, uh, in many traditions, associated with the third eye, associated mm -hmm. with seeing mm -hmm. things that are beyond the physical realm, specifically connecting to the divine yes. in whatever way it best resonates with you. And it's interesting to point out that in the section of the Bible, one of the, if not the, key patriarch of the, of the nation of Israel, Jacob, who comes to be named Israel later, when he first meets God and meets him face to face, he does so at a place and this place is called Mount Peniel. Yes. So Jacob called the place Peniel saying, it is because I saw God face to face and yet my life was spared. Book of Genesis. It's 32, Genesis. 22 to 32, to 32, 31. Yes. He, he wrestles with, uh, with in some interpretations it's God, in some interpretations it's, with, it's within himself he's wrestling with, in some interpretations it's literally an angel. Sometimes it's presented uh, as the angel uh, Samael, mm -hmm. who's uh, a commonly associated with being a harsh, but necessary and ultimately beneficial adversarial force, kind mm -hmm. of, in addition to punishing the, the, the wicked. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to point out here, the primary time that Jacob is able to see God face to face is only after he struggles on, on literally, yeah. literally wrestles with one of his agents mm -hmm. on Mount Peniel, and this is in our interpretation and many many other people's interpretation. This is in reference to the pineal gland. Why would the pineal gland in the Bible, for all of our Christian Catholic, um, maybe even Judeo Christian um, viewers, why would the pineal gland be so important, even in something like the Bible? It's because the pineal gland secretes different chemicals, as we mentioned before, DMT being one of them, DMT being known as the God particle. Um, the God particle or, or dimethyltryptamine is extraordinarily important for human development, not only through adolescence and, and early adulthood, but also it's important because it is a chemical that is secreted in your body when you dream and also when you die. It's also considered a sort of gateway. Yes. There, there's, there's theories that when you die, when people have these near-death experience, sometimes people are legitimately, they're able to, as close as possible, go to the other side, so to speak, and come back. Yes. A lot of them describe the sensation of going through a gateway. So it's not, it wouldn't be crazy to suppose, and we, we think that, it, that there might be the case, that when you die and this DMT is released, that is what gives you the experience of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, yes. seeing this door open, a gateway, passing through a portal, like that's, that's what it is. Which would be interesting, and I think there'd be some, some even more evidence of that if, say, say hypothetically, there were artificial substances that people ingested at various times in history that gave them sort of transcendental experiences, including looking into themselves, astral projecting, and the sensation of going through a portal or joy. Oh, wait a minute! If you look at Mesoamerican culture, they have a brew called ayahuasca where you can drink DMT and you can experience these types of things for yourself. And the Egyptians also had one similarly, it was uh, the blue lotus, which was um, a very popularized flower that people would ground down and they would uh, intake in different ways. Sometimes they, there's even types of actual rot that forms on crops that you can make into a brew that will actually have hallucinogenic uh, properties and yeah. effects similar yeah. to that. 
So there's that. There's uh, there's the tradition of what's known as soma in in a lot of uh, tantric Hindu and Buddhist traditions, mm. where we don't really exactly know if it was a plant, if it was a metaphor, if it was a different brew of substances. But either way, from the descriptions, it sounds like it was something that they actually made and that it had some sort of hallucinogenic properties. Right, and we're not condoning the use of drugs on this channel. What no, we're, no, no. What we're trying to point out is that for thousands upon thousands of years, a lot of different cultures did drugs and they were all pretty much similarly DMT based drugs that were all about gaining transcendental experiences through like Rich had mentioned astral projection leaving your body talking with God similarly to how Jacob does in the Bible and it's not only the Bible and biblical cultures that show the use of the pineal gland and its importance if you take a look at Egyptian culture you'll see that a lot of pharaohs are depicted holding a pine cone shaped entity if you go to the Vatican in Rome you'll see that there are statues of popes showing they have a giant pine cone right up front. giant pine cones they have all these different pine cones the pine cone analogy is, is actually it goes a little bit deeper than you might think not only is the pineal gland the only piece of a human body that is shaped like a pine cone but as as you were telling me earlier oh yeah so it's interesting so you see the pine cone is commonly uh it's commonly associated uh, back in the day it was associated with uh, with evergreens and so like you know the sun uh the conquering over the winter and things like that but also it was specifically associated with the planet saturn largely because apparently a lot of ancients they started to notice that because of the curves in the orbit of saturn being so much sharp they said they noticed that in his reflection in the sh in the shape of this of a swoop of a pine cone so they associated pine cones with the planet saturn in addition to pine cones being a sort of uh a kingly plant symbol so to speak and it, it, that this is a symbol of a tree that basically says screw you to winter and that will will keep on enduring and saturn is more or less the king of the, the king, king of, of the planet yes the king of winter as well so it turns out they also associated the metal lead with saturn Le lead was saturn's metal flash forward to today and it turns out that pine cones actually a lot of them have an unusually high content of lead in them and it gets even better than that mm. because the pineal gland is the has the electric secretion of its of its pair with the pituitary mm -hmm. so it does have magnetic properties but it's primarily electric mm -hmm. not magnetic right matthew mm. do you know one of the metals like gold the color of this fluid that is that is, that is not magnetic it's is it lead it is lead so basically what he's saying is <laughs> lead and gold are both non-magnetic and the pineal gland is associated with Saturn, which is associated with lead, but it's also associated with a golden color that it secretes when it secretes this DMT and this melatonin mix. Um, and we're going to get into that a little bit later. But it's just very interesting that all of these concepts are very interconnected based off of the pineal gland. Super important. Thanks for watching the video guys, if you liked it, hit the like button, go to our channel, and subscribe to us. Also, ring that notification bell. Our name is Psychosmos, we'll see you soon.